Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to use uh, more than eight faders and knobs on your keyboard to control Ableton devices. Um, technically not possible according to Ableton, uh, but if you edit some of the Python scripts in there, you actually can get keyboards that have more than eight controls to be using all of them at once to control the device. I'll show you how. So I'm going to right, basically show you what this does and then later I'll explain it. If you like it, you can download it. So. Um, so I've got a loop in there. What I'm trying to do is enable control of all these uh, knobs and faders. So we've got in total eight knobs and eight faders, 16, you get it. That's eight more than Ableton usually allows. Um, that gives you a bit more hands-on control. You can just kind of mess around with the keyboard rather than kind of looking and clicking. That's what I wanted to do. So I'm going to put this loop on. Um, I'll turn the metronome off as well. It gives us control of um, the first knob gives you control of the attack second knob's decay you got this so you've got all this control release the course fine the square wave or whatever waveform you want and of course the overall volume. Um, then on down here, we can just turn it off altogether. That's on and on, off, on. The velocity sensitivity, um, loop. And I think there's only five of them on this one. So then what we can do is then go, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy with that sound. I might just make it a little bit shorter than that. And then next, this is the bank across. So you can see it changes the bank oscillator B. So turn oscillator B up. We've then got control of oscillator B. So some pretty awful sounds there. But basically what you've got there is you've got your bank buttons across. You can go oscillator C, oscillator D, LFO, filter. Um, you've got control of the filter. Filter type is going to be somewhere. And if you click on it, you can see that it's, all the things are changing. Filter type is this one here. Um, filter frequency to velocity. Shaper, all kinds of stuff. Um, gives you this hands-on control. You can actually just mess with the buttons. You click the thing of bank across and see which bank you're messing with. Means you got. I mean, it's a bit more like an analog synth. You got 16 controls to mess with, um, and visual feedback from the computer. Um, on different synths like analog, uh, it's a little bit different. Um, there's different parameters, of course, because each each synth has different parameters. Uh, if we go. You know, this is the different waveforms, the octaves, semitones, detune amount. I don't know what that one was. There we go. Sub sync level, the filter amount, the volume. That's the oscillator two. So it's all the same ones mirrored. But oscillator, oscillator two is not on, so that's what I turn it on. There you go. Um, similarly, similar things are going to happen on co um, collision. So you basically got all these controls to move on the Akai MPK. You've got to rewind and fast forward. To do that, you need to swap between the banks. So that's what it does. Um, okay, how to install it? If you want to do that, here's how to do it. So for one, you need to go to facebook.com/lostbeat. Click on free downloads. It's that's where it is. So let's say I've downloaded it. Um, lost beat free downloads and we're going to go to controller custom controller scripts um, this is the Akai MPK 49 device blah 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 alright so that's the thing you need you're going to go to your SDD or whatever your hard drive's called and go show package contents on the live thing contents app resources MIDI control scripts 
and this is the folder you want. These are the Python scripts that make the push what it is. The push ain't nothing without this. Um, or any any device doesn't do this. These are the scripts that make tell you, you know, this pad equals this drum, whatever, etc. etc. So what I've done is I've basically just gone, alright, there's MPK49 device control, drag it into there. Um, then you'll need to restart um, live. Um, in that folder there is there is a readme. I urge you to read the readme. I mean, these are me talking the instructions. The readme has very specific. If you follow the readme, it'll be correct. If you follow me, it might not be correct. Um, it's got lots of steps. If you don't want to do the CliffX thing, you don't have to, but it gives some added functionality like being able to solo tracks and uh, move around and clip view and play clips and all kinds of stuff with these pads here. But device control, there you go. Um, basically, the other things that I've added to it are um, in say for analog if once you go to controller bank, bank B that's going to be the normal functionality with the track volumes so that's control bank B if you go to control bank C you've actually got sends so you can send the effects with the knob and the fader as you can see there um, so that's a little bit handy I found it pretty handy I mean you can probably do most of that stuff on the push but if you've got a keyboard like this and you want to just play with the keyboard um, so it can be done. Um, read the instructions, install it if you like. Check it out, facebook.com for free downloads. Hey.